Hi, this is Christian. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to complete this exercise. Okay, so it asks us to create a class called student. And the constructor is going to um, accept the name of the student and a list of all the test scores. Okay, so these are the methods that you are required to create in addition to anything else you want to do. But these are the minimums, right? So we have a getter. We have two getters here, three getters, and one setter, right? And here is a sample uh, data. For example, if I have the student name enter is this, this is a list of my test scores. And you can instantiate the student object this way by passing the name of the student and the list of test scores, okay? And then if you want to add additional scores, then you would call the add quiz function and then pass the score to that function. Internally, it's going to add this data to the existing list, okay? So when you do that, your test scores will grow and you're gonna get a different uh, average every time, All right? First, I wanna just copy this and put it to the IDE. So we have some um, references. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and maximize this screen here. Create a class called student. So, so class called student. Okay, we're gonna create a constructor called under under, init under under, parent self, and it asks us uh, to use the name and a list of scores. So I'll just call it scores. Okay, notice the capital S, I mean the the um, plural here means it's a score list. You can call it scores. Sometimes you can call it score list. It's whatever you do is entirely up to you. But you put plural so you know that it's a list of scores, okay? And then we're going to initialize these right away. So self.name is equal to this name, and then self.scores is equal to the scores. Now, it also say that you are more than welcome to add um, in the other notes a default score value. And so that you can leave it um, like this. That is a default value. The default value, you can leave it out not like this if it has no name. Okay, why you do that? Well, because maybe when you create a new student object like this, right, you don't want to pass anything to that student class. Okay, if you don't include this default values, you would see that if I do it this way, it's going to crash. Okay, you see that right here, it says I need two arguments because I have two here, right? So that's why if you include the um, that default values, then now if I run it, it should be okay, right? No problem because these are the default value. All right, so that's that. And again, this is already um, instantiation. Okay. All righty, so we're pretty much done here for this part. But let's complete the class. So we need to create a, um, uh, a getter or setter, or get a first get a name, self. We just basically return the self.name. That's it for that one. We need to get a um, total score. Okay, so return something, a total score. Maybe we, we have to create a, um, a variable called total score. So let's go up here and we can create one. Okay, put uh, zero for now. And then we need to also return a get average score. Okay, so here return again itself that AVG score, maybe something like that. So I'm just doing something like this first, and then you can always go back and refactor, okay? So AVG score. Maybe this will here also is set to zero initially. All right. And then we have to have an add quiz method. That takes one score value. So this is the setter. I put notes here. These are all what's called getters. Okay. Getter methods. This is the setter method or methods. So we have one called uh, add score. And we have just the new score. Notice again, it's a singular. That means that um, we expect that to be just a single value um, in here, right? 
So we're going to update the list of scores. Whatever we have here, we're going to append to that score, right? So self.scores dot append the new score. So we're not returning anything, so therefore that's why we call a setter. We're just setting that. All right, and then now the question is, how do we calculate the total score and the average score? Okay, so how do we do that? So before we um, return this statement, we have to calculate total score, right? So we'll say a total score, that means you have to get the sum of all the data inside the scores list. Now in Python, there is a sum function that you can pass in a list of numbers like this. If you do that, you get the sum of those numbers. So we'll use that to get the total score, okay? The built-in function. Of course, you can also do your own uh, loop to do that as well to get the score. I mean, assume that if Python doesn't have the sum function, how do you do it? Okay, so I'll use this method, self dot, uh, total score is equal to the sum of all the scores in the scores list. Okay, that is uh, pretty much it will actually self that score. Okay, so that is the total score. And then the only thing is that if I do this, I have to, you know, recalculate every time when I call this function. All right, so may not be the best option, but for now, we'll just see that it's going to it, it is working first, okay? The average score will be the same thing. I need to calculate the average. How do you get the average score? Yeah, pretty simple, right? It's the average is basically the sum of all the numbers divided by the quantity of the numbers. So if you know the sum of all this, one, two, three, divide that by what? The size of that, so the length of the one, two, three, right? It will give you the average, all right? So we'll do that. I want to do a um, uh, self dot average score is equal to the self, I mean the sum of the self dot scores list, divide that by the length of the self dot scores. Okay, that will give you the average. And then we assign the average to the self average and then also we return that right back. Again, it's not the most efficient. Um, why is because every time we get the total call, you have to recalculate every time. And usually, you know, you might want to do a different, a different approach. Um, and I'll show you in, in a minute. So let's say that we get that done and we're going to create a student object. So let's clear our console over here and let's run this thing. Okay, so we got our student object. If you type in student dot get name, okay, we have no name assigned, so that's okay because it was initially set to none. But let's get the uh, scores. Student dot scores. This is the scores list. It's also empty because we never include any, right? So it's working. We know for sure. Let's add some score to this list. Let's see if this add score actually works, okay? So student at score, I'm gonna pass in, let's say a 100 score for that one. And we can verify that, make sure the score is actually there so we can see that it is working. Let's add another one, okay? I'm gonna add a um, 90, add another one in uh, 95. So now we have three scores in this list. Great, so it has some numbers to play with. Let's get the total in the average. Uh, total score, um, okay, you can see that zero because why? We have never calculated yet. So in order to get the total score, we have to call the function, right? So the student that get total score, when we call that function, it's going to process that at the same time, return the value back. So now the student that score is now set, updated, and it should be 285 if you call that variable directly like this. Okay, so we just confirmed that the function did work and we did update the total score. What about the average? Same idea. Okay, student that AVG score is gonna be zero. But now let's go ahead and update that function. 
called a function called student that um, get average score and it returns the average as well as updated the average score and there you go. Okay, so now it's working and then what we need to do is uh, update this a little bit. I mean, this will work the way it is, but again, it's not the most efficient because every time when I call this function, okay, notice that it goes in here and recalculate again and again and again, right? The only thing that you need to calculate is if you have a new set of scores. If you updated your scores and the number changes, then and only then should you update the scores. Otherwise, you should not update it. So how do you make this better? Well, you realize that when I add the score, I add a new one to the score, I append it to the scores list. So when that happened, then you need to get the average, calculate the average and calculate the total. Right? So instead of getting the average getting total, you will create additional function to do that. So here would be uh, what we call these helper functions or helper methods. Okay, they're not called the getter or setter. In a way, it's, it's like a setter, but it's calculating. So I put here, you can say update, um, you know, scores or something like that, okay? And what I'm doing is you can say update average, update total, it doesn't matter, um, but I'll just do one so it would do both, okay? So in here, what do we do? We're going to do uh, basically copy this, okay? We'll actually move that, put it in here, and then move this, put it in here. And then you can see that now my getter and setter follows the rule of getter and setter. I'm just returning the actual data back. But I update the score, okay? So when I add a new score, I add that to the list. Right after that, I'm gonna call the self.update score to update the score, okay? So every time we add a new score to the object, it will calculate right away. Okay, so let's see that it this works. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and save, run it again. So notice that it did update everything already because initially my list is zero, right? So I have no data. If I do student dot, you know, I get, um, or just type in scores, it's zero. Let's update this to include some default value. I'm just gonna put here a 10, uh, let's put 100 and then 95, and then 90, okay? Three default values, and let's run this again. Okay, now I have some data. Student dot scores. so here is my list. Now my total should still be zero, zero, okay? My total in average should be still zero because I haven't invoked the function yet. So if you do student dot get, um, you know, total score, uh, yeah. If I call that function, I get a zero because I never invoke this function yet to do the calculation. So right now everything is zero. So how do you update it? Well, you have to manually invoke that student that update score first, right? Once you've done that, then you're gonna see that now the student score is now updated as well as the average. Okay, get average score. Okay, so good. So the idea is once you invoke or create this student object, whether you have any data or not, you know, you should in, invoke this function right away. So that means inside the initial function or the constructor, after I set all these values, I want to go ahead and invoke the self update score. Okay. So this will only run one time, all right? Just the initial time when you create the object. Why do you call it? Well, maybe because I might pass in some data. My, I might not pass anything. So you want to call it right away. And you can always check to see if there is anything or not. So for example, before I call it, what if it's empty like this? I don't want to keep calling every time, right? When we create it, you can also check. You can say, if the uh, len of the score, we can say if score, if that is true, then go ahead and update. Now, notice I did not have to check the size or the length 
because if you check using the if statements here, scores, if it's zero or empty or none or false, then this will be set to um, you know, the false value. If it's not other than that, then it will be true. So in this case, it will be false. All right, so if it's not empty, then go ahead and update this. If that, if it's confusing, you can do this. If the len of the list okay, is greater than zero, all right? If it's greater than zero, go ahead and call the function. So if I do that now, you see that it didn't call. How do we know it's call? Print something, right? Print uh, just some stars. So you know that it's, it's calling the function right away. So you see if I save it, I instantiate the object, nothing gets printed. Okay, nothing's printed. Now watch, I'm gonna put one number in here. I run it, you see it print stars because the length is greater than that. Go ahead and update the scores. My now, right now my student, that scores is now updated and all the things are updated. My average, you know, it's all the there. There will be one and so forth. So that's what you want to do. You call it one time when you initialize it if the score is not empty, okay? And then you call it one time when you add new scores to the list. What if I ask you to delete some of these scores, right? If you delete it, you have to update the score every time. But when you do a getter, you don't have to do that. I'm just returning the data. Okay, so that is um, how you would solve this problem. And so um, initially it'll be blank. You can also pass in some list here. So I'll put here, my name is Christian. And then my data will be 100, 100, and then 90. And I got an 80 score on the last one. Okay, so here we go. Boom. And my data, get total score. That's total, we add them all student dot get average score. There you go. So that is one of the ways how you can solve this problem. Thank you.